Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today I'm going to do a lovely cassette for you. It's the DR1X. It's the Fuji DR1X. I assume it's a one. It could be an I. It looks like an I on the packet, but it's probably a one because it's a type one. Anyway, so let's get stuck in, see where we go, see what we find out. If you saw my last video, you'd know why I'm so happy about doing this one. So let's get started. I often see people asking about Fuji cassettes. They're surprised that a camera company actually bothered making audio tapes. But what I can tell you about this is this is a nice feeling, nice looking piece of packing. When you pick up one of these cassettes, even in its packing with the cellophane, it feels good. If you're lucky enough to find some new old stock of these, you won't be disappointed. They look the business. Not too flash, but certainly not plain. When you open the packaging, you get a nice simple J card and the cassette itself, and you get the extra slim cassette case. Again, this just feels nice. No cheap sharp bits. And looking at the shell, you can see it's a nice translucent shell, and it is, well, I can only just say it is functional, but it's actually very rigid. It is nice to feel. There are no sharp bits again. When you pick up the cassette, you actually feel that you're picking up quality. I wouldn't want you to think I'm biased or anything, but this is the only one of these I've got, and I'm going to look out for more. But let's see what the results actually mean. Here comes our normal standard thing. Look out for the boom and the ting. Where We Want to Go by Patrick Patrickos, dynamic and clean. That bass drop always sounds interesting. Depends on what you're listening on as to how it sounds. Unless the tape's no good. On with the same stuff, but at minus 20. Where We Want to Go by Patrick Patrickos. Dynamic and clean. Listen to all that. Now let's have a look at the silence. When you look at the silence on this, you can see this is what silence should be. This is a type one, obviously, and it's averaging at about minus 80 dB on the silence. There is a little bit of print through though on the seven, minus 74 dB, which I think is because it's a hundred. The last time I used a hundred, I also got a little bit of print through, but I got a lot more than that. Next, we look at the two bass drops. They are nice and clean and look like they should do, and the ratios are right. Now we're looking at the one kilohertz, and you can see very little distortion on the t zero dB, and the minus 20 is nice and clean. Taking another look at the zero dB, you can see there is very little spike at the third harmonic. Looking at the three kilohertz zero dB, you can see there is the starting of the distortion, but that seems to be fairly normal. Looking at the minus 20, you can see there's no distortion at all. Looking at this is the 1 kilohertz being driven at plus 4 dB, and you can see there's quite a lot of distortion in there. However, if you look at this one, this is where I've backed it off until there is no distortion at, at uh, 
one kilohertz and you can see that it's, it's running quite nicely there and that is at plus db on the record level this is the first tape we've had that's actually allowed us to record in the red and not get distortion however there is a price to pay which we'll look at a little bit later this is the white noise at zero db and you can see it's quite respectable and there is the same at minus 20 now we're looking at the frequency response this is zero and that's at minus 20 there is a big knee on there and that knee is what the price we're paying for having it driving so hard that's only at zero db looking at the minus 20 response it gives, it gives a respectable showing up to 17 kilohertz now this is the tune and you can see the tunes behaving as it should do and now we're looking at the pink noise zero db and and the minus 20 and you can see it's very much the same shape and there's a good reason for that but we won't go into that now the end result of all that is that we've got a tape that is very quiet has good dynamics looks nice feels nice if you can get hold of one they're a good tape unfortunately on this particular example i had very slight print through but that could be because it's a hundred and as i said before i had the problem with a hundred on the Bassif. And the other price that you've got to pay is that if you drive it into the red, you will get yourself a good clean recording, but you will be cutting down on your high frequency response. On the other hand, you'll be going deaf, so maybe it doesn't matter. Um, it's a case of six of one and half a dozen of the other. And at the end of the day, if it sounds good, it is good. And you know with this one, you can actually take it up to the red and you're not doing yourself any any disadvantage other than the freeze response and if you're listening to something like I don't know hard rock it's not going to make any real noticeable difference except for the fact it will be cleaner than if you'd used any of the other takes that we've tested up to this point so I'm very impressed with this and if you get hold of them I'd recommend you do okay that's the end of this one if you've got anything from it please subscribe any comments put them in the comments box and I'll catch you another time let me know what videos you'd like to see Thanks, and catch you again. Bye.